My news, my weather, my investigations. KCRA 3 News at 10 on My 58. A large construction crane is back upright tonight after it narrowly missed buildings when it tipped over in downtown Sacramento. It took hours to correct the piece of machinery. No one was hurt. This happened this afternoon near the intersection of 12th and K Streets. KCRE 3's Melanie Wingo has been out there for hours. Melanie, is there any more work there that needs to be done? Well, we're still seeing a few construction crew members here on 12th Street between K and L. But what I can tell you is quite literally within the last eight minutes, we saw about five to seven large vehicles, cranes included, pulling away from this block. So it's very clear that after several hours of work trying to right this crane, a lot just goes into putting something back right upright once it has fallen down. 12th Street in downtown Sacramento, sandwiched between K and L. Massive machinery, clearly not sitting the way it's supposed to be. A Bragg Company's crane on its side for hours as construction crews executed the delicate process of riding the toppled vehicle as onlookers took it all in. It's almost the perfect uh, thing to happen right next to my right next to our birthday. Rick Peppelman, a civil engineer of 38 years, celebrating his 60th birthday right across the street from all the action. Kind of up my alley. Um, I'm a civil engineer and I've dealt with cranes, you know, in my career. I've Rick and his engineer friends at the party not speculating on exactly what happened here. A little bit unusual, but um, is kind of part of the crane business. So. Only saying these kinds of accidents sometimes do happen. Crane work, especially with big cranes, is it's pretty technical and usually they'll have several engineers involved. Just the, the loads they're lifting and how far they have to reach and the outriggers. Crews kept the block closed while bringing in other cranes for the big assist. Upright once again, but with some visible damage, the downed crane, no doubt a hassle for the team dealing with it on the ground. But made for a birthday party this engineer won't soon forget. One of my daughters is an engineer, so she's like, Dad, this is perfect. And no reports of injuries again. So that is the positive news out of all of this. We did try contacting the company in charge of all of this heavy machinery for comment. We also tried emailing as well. We have not received word back from that company as of yet as to what happened out here and why that crane toppled. Also, no construction workers on the ground felt at liberty to comment on this incident. Reporting live in downtown Sacramento, Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News.